Hey everyone, it's Aaron from Bloxels, and today we're going to take a look at some of the features that are coming in version 2.4, uh, primarily the keys and doors, which are the focus of version 2.4. Um, I think there are a lot of possibilities with keys and doors that you may not be considering, so we're just going to take a look at how to set some of these things up and uh, see what you can do with them. Um, there's, yeah, there's a lot. We'll cover more. Um, in future videos, I'm sure I'm sure you guys will have a lot of questions um, just because there's, yeah, there's just a lot of possibilities and uh, yeah, so let's just get started. Um, I have a demo game already started here. Um, there, there's not much to it. There's just an end flag. There's a coin, uh, Perry Jr., some spikes. It's almost all green blocks. Um, so nothing, nothing spectacular here. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to actually take a look at this yellow block up here. Uh, I'm going to hit the configure tab and you'll notice now that that yellow block can be configured. That is completely new to uh, Bloxels. We have never had yellow blocks be configurable. So uh, yeah, you can, you can configure your coins now. So if we're going to click on it, uh, if you, you come into it and you see that it's just a coin, you know, there's not really anything crazy here. I'm sure we'll add more features. Um, you know, for for what this could be, maybe you could set a, an amount that a coin could be worth, but that's not the point of this update. Um, the point is the keys. Right now, uh, you can see that there is a door code that you can set. So, if I have it set to door code A, what that means is it will open up doors with the same code. So, if I have a door that is also code A, the key will remove that door. If I have a you know a key that's door code B, it's not going to remove a door with the code A. So we're just going to leave this right now at door code A. And I'm going to just decorate it to look like a key so it's a little less weird. So let's just test this out real quick. So I grab the key and you notice up there that I now have a key counter and that shows me that I have one key that I collected. But I can't really do anything right now because I don't have a door. So let's add a door. I'm gonna put a green block here and I am going to give it some art. Let's just make it something weird. I have this, yeah. Let's just not do that. How about that? There you go. So now we have a door. Doesn't really look like a door. Um, you can make it look like a door. I'm just mostly using asset pack stuff here. So doors in Bloxels are not tied to a specific block. That's where there's that's where all the variety comes from. Um, so they're actually a trigger. So you can see now there's a third trigger that looks like a door. So we're going to click on the door trigger and we're going to click on the block we just added and we're going to add a door. So you can see, you know, as I talked about earlier, the door code. Um, we're going to leave it A so the key that we have now currently will open it. Um, and you see right here it says uses key. Um, what that means is if you come up to a door, it'll take the key away. If you have yes selected, you know, it's like you spend the key or you, you know, the key's destroyed or, you know, it's just gone. Uh, you'll have to find another key later if you want to open, you know, doors with code A. Um, or you can keep it um, and you can continue to open doors with that key. I'm just going to leave no for now and we're just going to take a look and see how that works. So you can see I walk up to it and it's just a green block. Grab the key, boop, and the door's gone. So now I can go and I can complete the game if I want. I'm not going to. Um, and notice how I still have one key. If we go back to the editor, and if we want to change that, let's just say yes, we do want to use the key. Same deal as before. Grab the key. Door's gone, and notice that I now have no keys. Another thing you can do, uh, which you probably saw in our preview preview video, is um, you can actually add door art. So this is a little bit different. Um, 
it's almost like a layer on top of the door. So let's just add block here. He'll be the door art. Um, so now when I hit test, we have kind of like an artwork that's overlaid on top of the door. Grab the key, and now it kind of flickers and it's gone. So yeah, that is how you, you know, the basics of how you set up a key and a door. Now we can make it a little more interesting. Um, let's get rid of our block here. And now let's add an orange block. Let's just decorate it the same. And then let's add a door trigger onto it. And we'll just leave, we'll leave that all the same. So now you notice you walk up to it, and even though it's an orange block, you don't get the little, um, you know, kind of like selection cursor border thing that comes around it when you normally approach an orange block. Um, you know, it's like it's a, it's just like it's a green block. So we can go up here, we grab our key, and we can now pick it up and move it. You can also set up traps. Um, let's just say we want these all to be um, doors as well. So maybe you kind of want like, you know, you got like an Indiana Jones kind of thing where you go grab, you know, the ancient treasure and, you know, the temple starts collapsing after you've grabbed it or something. So you could kind of do something like that where you grab the key and you start to leave and then you're like, oh, nope, nope. So yeah. Um, what I like to do uh, from when I've been playing around with it is I would say um, adding door art probably makes that a little bit better um, just because it feels a little more fair. Uh, it gives you a little bit more moment to react. So if we just do that here, let's try it again. So now they look a certain way and maybe, you know, it looks more like a bridge, maybe it looks a little more suspicious. Um, now that I'm going to grab the key, I have a moment to react 